Hello, this is Chad Martin with the Certified Indiana Bread Program, uh, representing several breeders throughout the state of Indiana that have been part of the Certified Indiana Bread Program for now going into the fifth year. And uh, what we do know when, um, is that the year 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us in many ways. And of course, uh, we uh, at Certified Indiana Bread have, have taken notice of the challenges and we want to be able to be accommodating to as many uh, youth exhibitors and recognize the breeders of the program as much as possible. And so this year we have decided to take the Certified Indiana Bread program virtual. And so what that means for you is an opportunity for exhibitors to be able to show their hogs that they've fed all summer with the intention to going to the Indiana State Fair, allowing us to continue to social distance um, and maybe stay out of that mix and the fray of that, but also to getting those a chance for all those exhibitors to showcase their work uh, that have been feeding those barrows for CIB program. Uh, we do know also that not only 2020 has been a challenging year, but we have breeders and exhibitors that step up uh, and and really rise to the challenge. And, and this is a case uh, across um, the state with 115 breeders that signed up their pro for the program this year. They've invested their $500 each to allow this program to exist. And so we are going to try to recognize as many exhibitors as possible. Uh, we're gonna basically structure this show where we'll have uh, a set number of pigs per class that'll be similar to the number of CIB barrows that are in a typical class at the Indiana State Fair. We'll have a judge that will sort and identify the top barrow out of each of those classes and that certified Indiana bred barrow will win $1,000 just like it has in the past. Uh, and so with that being said, we are uh, really excited about that. Um, we're not going to be selecting breed champions. We're not going to be selecting a grand champion. Those spots are, re are reserved for those important place at the Indiana State Fair. Um, and so we are wanting to just recognize those barrows in those individual classes. What this means for you as exhibitors, um, get videos, uh, take your videos, we'll uh, allow each exhibitor uh, to uh, enter just two barrows um, each. Uh, of course, this is limited to just Indiana uh, youth exhibitors and those barrows must have come from a certified Indiana bred breeder. And so you can go on our website and check and see if the, the list of breeders is there. Double check to make sure that you're entering a barrow that is from one of those certified Indiana bred breeders. Our entries will be open July the 31st, Friday, uh, and we'll go through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday and conclude at the end of the day, Tuesday on August the 4th at 4, 5 p.m. We felt that would give you ample time to get your videos considering the, uh, the crunch before the Indiana State Fair, so we appreciate that. Um, and then what you will do is we'll, we will be handling all entries through Walton Webcasting. So you would just go to the waltonwebcasting.com website you will go and find the Cyber Stock Show uh, link and click on that. Scroll to find the CIB Certified Indiana Bread event and click register. Uh, once you do that, uh, we, we need for you to, um, this is a free event. There's no entry fee involved thanks to our sponsors of the Certified Indiana Bread Program. Um, but this is a free event, so when you check, you'll receive an e uh, email entry form. Uh, the entry form will be emailed immediately to you. Uh, check your junk email, uh, and to do that, fill out the form, press submit, and then check the class schedule on the website the day before the show, which would, um, well, we'll have you do that on Thursday uh, the following week here. So uh, it would be August, the 6th, 
So double check as you're sitting in line at the state fair, uh, maybe getting your tack in and that sort of thing, uh, double check the website uh, to make sure that your barrows have been entered into the class. We'd also need you to scan a photocopy of your pedigree, and we'll need you to attach that uh, along with your entries. Um, and then we would prefer when you're making the videos to also be mindful that the resolution needs to be uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, no 4K videos. If you could also, uh, uh, when you're taking your video, if you could scan across and get the footage of the Barrow's ear notch uh, at some point uh, close by, um, we would ask for you to do that. Videos, you know, could be um, 30, 30 to 50, 60 seconds long. Um, so just uh, be mindful of that. We also want to recognize our sponsors, and we've been very fortunate to have a solid sponsorship to make sure that Certified Indiana Bread goes forward. ADM Showtech uh, is, is our title sponsor for the fifth year in a row to the tune of $10,000. So this is a $50,000 investment that they have put into the CIB program. And we're so thankful for them, Junior Schillinger and their, and their team uh, for that credit as well. Um, Farm Credit Mid-America has sponsored our Duroc breed for the fifth year in a row. And we surely thank uh, them, Ashley Harker and team uh, for that. Matthews Feed and Grain are our Chester sponsors. And we also are very fortunate to have the Indiana Pork uh, uh, Association uh, sponsoring the land race breed. So once again, it's a case where 2020 has been a challenge. We do want to thank the Indiana State Fair for all that they have done for us in the, in the past. And we continue to look forward to working with the Indiana State Fair and their leadership moving on into, the, into next year. We just felt this was the best pathway for us to, to make this program happen for everybody involved in the state and expand the opportunity uh, for those purebred barrows raised right here in the state of Indiana to be recognized. And we're so thankful for all the breeders and everybody that makes this program a viable opportunity uh, for, for years to come, hopefully. So onward and upward to 2021, but for now, we're gonna make it happen in 2020. And we thank you for all of your participation and support for the 2020 Certified Indiana Bread Program.